Hi Floss Tube, it's Lorna the Ladybird Stitcher. Today is Wednesday the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day to all my American friends. Um, I don't have any progress today other than on one, or I've made a very little progress on one of my haids. Um, so rather than come here and just waffle on about nothing, I've decided to do a half yearly review and a whip parade. So um, if that doesn't interest you, please feel free to skip this video. Um, but hopefully you'll join me and we'll have a look at all my whips again <laughs> that I probably haven't touched for a while. Um, I do do have a little bit of haul, a little bit of stitchy kindness. And I actually read a book, so um, my, my reading bug started to come back a little bit. First bit of stitchy kindness. Um, um, I won Laura from Laura X Stitch. Hi, Laura. Um, she was giving away a pattern. And it's this beautiful mandala. It's called Calm Colors. Um, designed by Tiny Modernist. So, and she didn't just send that. She, won she also sent me a little skein of silks for you. And it's a silk of the month um, for April this year. So that's really pretty pink and white. It's it's a lot, it's not as bright red as it's showing up on the screen there. Um, so yeah, thank you, Laura. I really appreciate that. That's lovely. And hopefully I'll get a chance to start that sometime soon. I am going to be putting things away as I go um, because there is a lot of stuff I've got in front of me. So... I don't want to be sorting, sort of um, sorting through everything for the whole day. Um, I also made a purchase with JK's Cross Stitching Supplies here in Australia. I got an 11 by 11 inch gome guard. I bought this is called Tulip, and it's by Lenart. Haven't opened it yet, but it's I believe it's brand new. Um, or one two three stitch. Only just received it couple of months ago um, and I asked JK's if she can get it for me and she did and it was very reasonably priced and I can't wait to start that it's really pretty um, it's 22 by 22 centimeters and it's on the fabric count is 10.5 holes per centimeters um, per centimeter uh, how much is that per inch? About I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, but with these, they're usually about 26, 26 count, something like that. Um, and it looks like the fabric might be patterned there yeah, so I'm really looking for I haven't opened it and I'm not I suppose I can yeah. <clears throat> no I can't because I have to break things but anyway when I open it you'll be the first to know <laughs> so um that's it there so tulips are my favorite flower and I've been looking for a really good tulip pattern so I'm really happy with that and then I've got a bunch of um dinky dye threads and these are for, I believe it's, um, which one was it? Um, Flowers of the Holy Night by Glendon Place. So, Glendon Place? Yes, Glendon Place. Sorry. So that's those. And then I went to the craft fair here in Australia, or here in Sydney. And I found um, Tortoise and the Hare by the Prairie School. I don't know whether you can still get this. I'm not sure. But I really like it. Um, I also got some best press. I won't, I won't bother showing you that. Um, but my main purchase from the craft fair was a um, light with magnifier, and that's changed my life. Along with the Lowry stand, it's just my stitching's going really well. Um, the reason I don't have any progress um, to show you is because I'm still working on my model stitch. So every bit of stitching time that I have is being devoted to that. 
I did get a little bit of stitching time to work on my hay because I had asked the designer a question to see if there was something, I thought there was um, a bit of a problem in the pattern and she um, confirmed that there was, so I didn't want to move on until she, she'd um, fixed it. And so while I was waiting for her response, I managed to work on my hay for a little while, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, other than that, I've, I haven't spent any time on my own projects. Um, a couple of people asked me to go through my experience with the model stitch. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's on Hessian, um, which I've never worked on before, and it's half stitches using six strands of DMC. So the, all the strands um, and just doing half stitches. I am enjoying the model stitch itself, but at the same time, I'm missing my own projects. Um, the model stitch I'm working on, although it's beautiful, it's not something I would have picked for myself. There's only five colours in it and usually I'm more of a um, colour motivated person. But it's still beautiful and I am enjoying it. But again, yeah, I just miss my own projects a lot. Um, as far as the money goes, I think what I'm being paid is fair, but very, very low compared to, say, minimum wage. Like, it's nowhere near minimum wage when you consider the amount of hours devoted to it. I've spent hundreds of hours on it already, I would say, and yeah, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't even begin to cover it. But, you know, it's a little bit of pocket money. Um, I don't know if I'll do it again, but we'll see what, what happens in the future. Now, my book. Um, this was recommended by Lisa from Luby's Lot. Hi, Lisa. If you haven't checked her out, please go on go to her channel I will link her below she um, does a lot of reading I think she updates she puts out a video approximately once a month maybe once every couple of months depending on what she's going she's got going on but the amount of stitching she manages to achieve during that time and the amount of reading she manages to achieve during that time is phenomenal um, please check her out I will link the video below but this is the one she recommended um, it's called Our House. I don't know if someone else recommended this after she did. I think I saw it a couple of times. I may be wrong about that. It may have been Michelle Benny Stitchy. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But, um, yeah, it's basically a lady um, turns up to her house after a weekend away and someone else is moving in. And she's found that all her possessions are no longer in the house. Her house has been sold. She's got no knowledge of what's happened. Um, and basically, there's quite a few twists during the book um, with a massive kind of reveal at the end um, and consequences. You think about the consequences um, after what happens at the end, it's quite quite um, huge. Um, there were a couple of plot um, changes that I did see coming and I think Lisa mentioned that as well in her video um, but it was fine I was I was um, I did start it and had it kind of on the go for a couple of weeks and then once it once I got through um, probably the first I don't know, first third of it I would, didn't want to put it down so I don't know whether that was my reading bug or just because it was a slow start I think it's probably my reading bug but yeah really good book um, recommending that so if you like um, kind of mysteries and that kind of thing um, well worth a read so that's Our House by Louise Candlish I um, just got it from my library I'm not reading anything at the moment I did pick up a book but I wasn't enjoying it so um, I've let it go. I'm waiting for another book to come through from the library. It was a recommendation by Tina from Simply and Stitches. Hi Tina. And it's called um, Then She Was Gone, I think. I can't remember who it was by, but when I when I receive it and start reading it, I will um, show that to you. So, um, that's it for haul and book. Um, now, what have I achieved throughout the year? I started with 18 whips. Um, for the first, during the first six months, I had two finishes. Both of those finishes were FFOs and those finishes were Emerald Mermaid and what's the other one? You would think with two, I would have remembered. 
Sorry. An Afternoon in London by Country Cottage Nader Wax. Um, and I've FFO'd both of those. Um, I'm not counting the um, Prairie School or Alphabet leaflets um, in those finishes. Um, I've had eight new starts during the year, and so that now I've got 24 current whips. Um, and I've also finished three full coverage page finishes um, for Heaven and Earth Designs. Now, um, I've separated my Mirabilias, which I have five on the go at the moment, um, along with all, and with all my other projects on this side. So I'll probably go through all my other projects first and leave the Mirabilias till the end, because just because they're so compact. Um, and I know where everything is with those. The others are a little bit scattered. Um, I will be ticking them off as I go along because I'm hoping that there are 19 on this side. There are definitely five on that side. <laughs> Yep, there's, two, there's five on that side. I'm hoping there are 19 projects on this side. But we will go through them um, together and I will um, tick them off as I go. So the first one. Um, this one is called Jane Austen at the Christmas Ball by Books Books Publishing. This My goal for this was to have it done by the end of the year, but I can't see that happening anymore. Um, here's where she is so far. I started this one this year and I was uh, it was part of the um, Jane Austen reading and stitching group and I've, all I've achieved on her is her head and there are this one is one where you stitch on different pieces of um, is that better? Yeah, maybe that's better. You stitch on different pieces of um, perforated paper. So I've got different coloured pieces to stitch different bits of her on. And then you kind of have to attach them together. And you can see there's, I think that's ribbon I've got to use there. And I've got the embellishment pack. So I've got everything I need with that. But what I wasn't enjoying, there was a little bit of chronic, um and it was eight count, eight, number eight braid. Is that right? Number eight chronic. And it was a little bit shreddy. Um, as I was pulling it through the perforated paper, it was shredding. So um, I'll, I'll try and get back to that at some point, but I don't think it's going to be finished this year. Like I was thinking. So that was Jane Austen at the Christmas ball. Um, normally, on my videos I list my projects down below um, instead what I'll do otherwise there'll be a heap of stuff to go through um, underneath instead what I'll do is put the information um, on the ribbon at the bottom of the screen and if you have any questions about what they're being stitched on or anything like that and I forget to tell you please let me know okay next one is this one this is Dreaming of Tuscany by Gold Collection Petites Dimensions. Um, I started this many, many, many years ago, and that's all I've achieved so far. Um, I'm not enjoying this one. I'm. I haven't gone back to it. I was hoping to finish it this year. I was hoping to finish it last year. I was hoping to finish it the year before. Never got around to it, and I honestly don't know if I will. I'm just not enjoying it and frankly life's too short um, to stitch on things that you don't enjoy I think um, I'm not gonna throw it away or anything like that but I just haven't felt the, the urge or the want to go back to it so that's the UFO at this stage Next one is a Heaven and Earth design. It's my stocking faithful friends and I will insert a picture here of what it looked like uh, of what it will look like when it's finished. And here is where it is now and that's pages one, two, four and five done. Um, pages three and six are blank. So the first two rows are finished and I've got three pages on the bottom to go and I think another two 
at the at the very bottom of the stocking. Um, I started this, I believe it was 2015. Um, yeah, so that's um, it's artwork by Donna Del Donna Gelsinger. So that was supposed to be a gift for my little girl for Christmas one year. Um, it can still happen, but <laughs> I don't. I, I've achieved my goal on that one. My goal was to finish the first two rows and I've done that for, um, this year. So I've done that. So hopefully I'll get some more time to work on it next year. My next one is Juliet by Chilton Crafts. And this is what it will look like when it's finished. And that's where it is now. And that's pages one, two, three, four, and six. So I still need to do page five here. Um, the reason I kind of jumped around was because I didn't leave enough room on the side. And as you can see, I've attached some fabric to the side to um, hopefully give me a bit more, more um, grip on my Q-snap. And, I, and I've also done the same to the bottom because I, there wasn't enough room at the bottom either when I measured it. I think I started way too far in um, thinking that I'd have enough, but I didn't. So that is being stitched on um, 25 count Lugana 1 over 1. Um, same with my stocking, both being stitched on white Lugana 25 count 1 over 1. And that's my preferred full coverage piece stocking um, fabric. So I'm hoping to get back to that. I had hoped, my goal was to finish the first two rows on that. Um, that's not gonna happen, but I would like to at least do some of it. Um, we will see. This one is a mystery. It's called Guardians of Notre Dame by Ingleside Imaginarian. Um, the July piece, July block has just been released yesterday or the day before. On the first, um, today's the fourth, so a few days ago. I haven't gone back to it yet, but I plan to. Um, so this is how it stands at the moment. Um, that's as far as I can go, except for, if you have a look closely there, there's some um, gentle art sampler thread that needs to go in the border there. So I need to fill that in, as well as the July block. Uh, yeah, July block. So halfway through there. And I'm enjoying that one as well. That, this is on a 28 count Lugana in tan. Um, I just found it on eBay, so I don't know where it came from originally. Next one is The Six Wives of Henry VIII by The Primitive Hair. I was all gung-ho about this one, really couldn't wait to start and I just haven't had any um, chance to go back to it. I really want to go back to it. I should find time, um, time to go back to it. Um, it's stitched on Old Salem Linen, which you can get from the Primitive Hair. That's all I've managed so far. I think my goal on this one was to finish. Um, this would be yeah, Catherine of Aragon. But I haven't done that yet. I, I think I'll manage to do that. I should go back to it and try that. I really do enjoy that. Um, this linen is, um, it, it is kind of smelly still. Um, I think I mentioned that when I first pulled it out. Um, so the smell is quite strong, um, but I really like the colour. I'm not usually a linen person. I have worked on linen before, but I do prefer even leaf. Um, so yeah, I, I'm hoping to get back to that one at some point. 
I didn't buy this from the Primitive Pair directly. I actually bought it from Stitching Bits and Bobs in the US. I just found that it was cheaper to get the linen and the pattern from them rather than directly from the Primitive Pair. I don't know why that was. Um, yeah, so. That one. This one. This is Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird Designs. And I'm stitching this on, um, it's Lugana, I think it's 28 count. Um, and I tea dyed this in chamomile tea, so it's a little bit yellowy. Um, so all I've done is the first, is the top left hand corner on this. I think my goal was to stitch kind of the, the first quarter of this pattern and this is another one where I'm really enjoying it but I never get a chance to go back to it so I need to put, a, put aside some time on that one that's that one um, I haven't got any of, any of the rest of this series from Blackbird Designs it's the uh, Magical Mystery Tour series, so the Beatles. I think there's six. I think there's six in the series, but um, I don't have any of the others. The next one is Story Keep Secret Door by Heaven and Earth Designs, and here's what it will look like um, when it's finished. Now, um, I showed you this last last time, so I'm not going to take it out of the Q-snap. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I finished pages 1, 2, and I'm on page 3. Pages 2, 4, 6, and 8 are partial pages, and 7 is a partial page as well. Um, so I was hoping to finish that this year, but I don't think it's going to happen unless I spend all my time on this. Um, or more of my time than I want to devote to it. I am enjoying it, don't get me wrong. I really like this one, but um, I've just made too many other goals for myself, I think. I think the goals I set for myself this year were way too too much. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping to finish that maybe next year. So that's that one. Next one I'm working on is the Prairie Scholar Alphabet, and I'm currently working on GHI. I'm stitching these in three different parts um, on 28 Count Lugana 1 over 1. And here is where it is at the moment. So I haven't finished G yet, um, but I've done A, B, C, D, E, and F. And my goal for this one originally was to do A, B, and C, which I've done. But then um, I realised that it would take me way too long to have it done. So I'm hoping to get to halfway through the alphabet by the end of this year and have it completed by the end of next year. And this is the reason that I'm not getting all my other projects done because it's taking me a week out of every month to stitch one block. And I need to do at least one block a month before um, f to achieve my goal. Um, I want to have it done by the time my daughter starts school in late January or early February, next uh, year after next. Um, so that's why I'd like to have it done, have the whole thing done by the end of next year. So I will go back to that once my model stitch is completed. Um, I'm nearly finished. I'm hoping to have that sent off, sent back to the designer by the end of this year. Um, by the end of this week um, and then I can go back to stitching my stuff <laughs> so um, other one is Boy King this is one that I started many 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 years ago um, I'd say about 21 years ago or something like that it was one of the first ones that I'd started um, so it's called Boy King by Janlin and I am now stitching this along with um well 
Claire from Pyrex Stitcher is also stitching a Jalen one and it's the companion piece to this one um, which I have finished and it's um, Nefertiti and she's actually finished King Tut um, and he's working on Nefertiti. I've, I'm the opposite. I've finished Nefertiti and I'm working on King Tut. So I will, I'm hope, also hoping to go back to this one and hoping to finish that this by the end of this year. Next one is Alpine Seasons Garden by Chatelaine and this is what it will look like when it's finished and it's being stitched on it's a stitches and spice linen um, and it's called spice blend fern gully and it's uh, 28 count casual by stitches and spice they're no longer in business unfortunately because they they used to do amazing fabric um let me just work out the top okay so this is just the center of the piece not the full center of the piece that was my goal for this year was to finish the center i honestly don't know if that's going to happen i doubt it um I, I don't think i've picked it up all year unfortunately but yeah that's um I like the piece, but I'm finding the, I have it on, um, and I've said this many times, I have it on paper, put in paper form, and although I've read that um, they're currently a lot easier to read, um, the one that I have, which I, I purchased at least 10 years ago, um, it's really hard to read. the. The, um, the patterns are quite small so um, I might just bite the bullet and buy the pattern again but last time I looked I think it was about $40, $40 for a pattern and I, I couldn't really justify that so we'll see next one is mini Cinderella on the stairs I might insert a picture because there's a bit of a glare I'll insert a picture of what that will look like when it's finished And here's what it looks like so far. Now this is the only full coverage piece I'm stitching on 18 count Ada. It's one, um, two over one on 18 count. I've only managed to finish pages one and two there. And I was hoping to finish the top five pages, I think. Might even be four pages, I'm not sure. But that was my goal for this year and I haven't touched it yet. So unlikely that that's gonna happen, but it's still one that I enjoy and I'm really happy with the detail, even though it's a mini. Um, so yeah, I will go back to that one day. This one is um, Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks and it's in 12 different blocks, but I've only done one block. And I believe that's just, what's that one? Um, that might just be called Santa's House. I'm not sure I'll put it below. Um, I have all 12 and I have all the all the threads I need um, I just haven't gone back to it this fabric it looks like an even weave and it's just one that was recommended with it um, so, yeah. so I'm going to do that all on one piece uh, my goal for this year was to finish the first four blocks Oh, the, the four blocks that go at the top and obviously I haven't done that I'm sorry about that I'm just organizing um, okay next one is this looks like Victorian charm by dimensions and here's what it will look like when it's finished this was one I already had on the go this year. I think I started it either last year or the year before. I'm pretty sure it was the year before. Um, and I haven't really had much done since. <laughs> Here's where I am so far. Um, it's being stitched on 18 count navy Ada, which makes it difficult. Not too bad though. 
Um, I was hoping to get through half of it to the, this year, but again, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so that's where that is. The next one is Pinocchio Wishes Upon a Star by the Disney Dreams Collection. I believe these are now um, out of print. They're no longer selling them. This is a Thomas Kincaid artwork. Um, my goal on this one was to have the first page done, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's on very, very, very stiff Ada. Um, that's what I've done so far, which is just a couple of columns on the first page, so not far on that one. And I, I honestly have to be in a certain mood for that one, um, and the mood doesn't strike me very often. So it's one of those ones that will get done when it gets done. This one, um, I will be working on this one this month. This is Ladybird Fairy by Joan Elliott. It is still a favourite. I just, again, haven't had the time to work on it. But it's Joan Elliott July and so I will be pulling it out later this month. And that's what I've done so far on this one. This is a Colour Cascade Opal Lugana 28 count in Jaded. So it's really pretty. And I can't wait to go back to her. My goal for the year, and I'm hoping to do that, do it all this month. Um, because I don't think I'll be able to get back to her later this year. But I'm hoping to kind of get up to kind of do all the skin up to the top of that dress um, so everything up above that so the wings the hair the face and the skin on her arm the top of her arms her shoulders there so see how we go okay this one is doesn't have a name this one is by this company and it is being stitched on 18 count 18 count Ada of no it's not 18 count it doesn't actually say but I think it's about 14 count Ada um, white Ada I haven't done much on this one it's not called anything because that's the that's the numbers that go with it, or those those ones. Um, I'm calling it Mediterranean Avenue. And that's all I've done so far. It's on very stiff Ada. I don't have anywhere near enough fabric um, around the top and the bottom because they didn't provide enough. So it's another one I've got to attach fabric to. But that's where I'm at. And I think my goal for this one was to finish the sky. So I really don't have much to do for this year. I should just pick that up and go for it. So yeah, we'll see how we go. Okay, this one I'm going to insert a picture of what it will look like when it's finished. It is called Fantasy Triptych by Teresa Wensler. And here's what it will look like. I'm working this one on 28 Count Lugana in white and this is all I have so far. Um, my goal on this one was to finish that first arch and everything inside it and again I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so yeah that's where it's at at the moment. There's a lot of blended stitches in this one which is fine I don't mind that at all um, there's a couple of uh, specialty stitches again I don't mind that at all um, it's out of a book that I bought called fantasy fantasy stitches collection 2 I think um, I don't I don't mind it um, I was getting lost a little bit on the pattern but I've worked out 
um, that to treat it basically like a Hade or a Trilton Crafts and just work on it as a full coverage piece and just do columns and that seems to be helping it's just again the time I haven't managed to find the time to work on it so I, ho I will hopefully get back to that soon a lot of people are working on this it's called Kingdom of Books by I think it's make my own hands but um, I'm not sure about that it's all in Russian and I can't read Russian um, yeah it was designed in Russia I swapped out the fabric I think it came with 11 count Ada and I prefer working on um, Lugana as I've said and this is called Gold Digger Old World Map Style and I haven't done much on it uh, that's just the top of the first book so I need to go back to this one and my goal was to finish the first book of the chart um, so the first book on the left this one um, for the year but again I haven't gone back to it so this is really pretty fabric but it is huge um, and it needs a really big frame to work on because there is so much fabric so I'm hoping to get back to this one at some point again the first one is Enchanted Mermaid by Mirabilia these are all by Mirabilia, so I'm not going to go through that each time. Um, this one is being stitched um, as part of a cell for Belinda from Itch to Cross Stitch's birthday, which we started 6th of June. So I haven't spent a lot of time on it again, and you'll see how much of, how much of that time I have actually spent on it so far. Um, not much. That's just the top of her hair. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, so all I've done is the top bit of her hair. Um, so I'm hoping to get back to this one at some point as well. This is being stitched on a sil silk weaver called Summer Sunset in 28 count Opal Lugana. The next one is Summer Queen. Here's what it will look like when it's finished. And this is being stitched on um, Indian Sunset by Colour Cascade Fabrics. It's a 28 count Monaco. It was a fabric of the month. And that's what I've done so far. I pretty much achieved my goal on this one. This one had this had the goal of just finishing up to the top of her dress. And I've done all that. I've done all the skin. I've done all the back stitch um, on her skin. So other than the beads, which I will put it on it, put in at the end. Um, I've done as much as I can on the top little bit of, of her so really pretty really pleased with the progress it looks like I think I've um, yeah what I've done with all of these is um, photocopied them onto a4 paper and that's where the page must have finished and I think I just wanted to finish that first page so I'm happy with that and I will go back to working on her in summer which starts in, in Australia in December. And all of these queens, seasonal queens that I'm working on, um, I am doing a part of a sale with Belinda from Aussie Stitcher, where we started working on them. And I think Stitching Mummy, Sarah Stitching Mummy is also working on them, um, or working on Winter Queen, and she might be starting Summer Queen as well. Um, she's just started Winter Queen with us, um, but we started them on the first day of our um, season. So we obviously have opposite seasons to the Northern Territory, the Northern Hemisphere, um, and we found that not a lot of cells sort of covered that. Um, 
so we decided to use our own cell and um, that's that's how we're doing that next one is Villa of Mirabilia and it's this one this is out of print and I was I had looked for it for about a year before I actually found it um, and a lady was nice enough to gift that to me from the States after she finished working on it and then I had it um, signed by Nora Corbett when I met her earlier this year this is being stitched on Oasis um, Opal Lugana it's a huge piece and that's where it's at so far so the fat half so it's it's a large large piece and again I wanted to kind of finish up to the top of her dress for this one I don't know if that's going to happen but that was my goal for this year okay my next one is um, autumn queen by Mirabilia again this is another one that I'm working on with Belinda and this one is being stitched on Rocket Queen 28 Count Lugana. Sorry. Sorry about the crinkling. It's 28 Count Lugana Rocket Queen by Colour Cascade Fabrics. And that was the top bit again of the pattern that I managed to complete. Um, I got some Whisper White and that's what that's in. And there's a lot of Whisper White to go. Um, there's also some metallic thread in this one. The pattern says to use DMC 5282, I think. Yeah, 5282. But instead... I am using Chronic number 4 017 High Luster. I don't know if that's showing up, but... Yeah, that's that's the one, that's what I'm using instead. Um, I do not want to use DMC Metallic because I've used it before and I really don't enjoy it. Um, the pattern also calls for three cards of Whisper White, so there's quite a bit of it. There. Again, I'm going to put this away and I'll be right back. Okay, last but not least is the one that I started. Uh, at the start of June, which I haven't worked on very much at all. And this is another one that I'm working on with Belinda from Aussie Stitcher, and it's Winter Queen. And I am stitching this one on Fairies Wear Boots, again by Colour Cascade Public. This one's a 28 count Monaco, which I had in my stash. And that's all I've done so far. And I'm hoping to spend a bit more time on this one over the next couple of months. So that that's it. Um, that's all 24 of my that's all of my 24 whips. And um, hopefully next month, or oh, next time I see you in a couple of weeks, I will have a lot more to show you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did. Um, Please hit the subscribe button and the um, like button. Thank you so much for all my current subscribers. Thank you for watching, um, for commenting and for liking. And I'm hoping to see you in two weeks. Bye, everyone.